Now this story. Four children are dead after they were left in a shack for three days. Police are investigating this incident that's taking place in Mbumalanga province. My colleague Heidi Joko is uh, joining us now to give us more on this tragedy. Heidi, good afternoon. Can I just first ask you, is there any idea yet what happened here? Uh, so we're not entirely sure what caused the fire, uh, Bradan, but what we do know is that uh, there was a 17-year-old, there was also two sets of twins, a boy and a girl aged 13 and a boy and a girl aged 8. The 17-year-old was sleeping in a separate part of the shack, a separate shack if I can call it, and uh, the twins were uh, presumably sleeping all together in the one shack, um, the two sets of twins. What we do know is that a fire broke out uh, at around 1 o'clock in the morning. Perhaps I can ask my colleague, uh, Joe Komane to just show you where I'm talking about. Um, the shack that you're seeing that's still standing basically, uh, partly, is where the 17-year-old had been sleeping. Uh, the, sh the part of the shack that's completely destroyed and gutted is where we know the two sets of twins had been sleeping. So we know at around 1 o'clock in the morning a fire broke out. We're not sure what was the cause of the fire. Police are still investigating. Uh, but it seems as though people were hearing screams and shouts and calling for help and uh, the neighbor who's across from uh, to my right from uh, what you are seeing now um, tried to get out he then uh, tried to get to the shack but uh, he says the fire was just too strong and too big at that stage he said no matter how much water they tried to use it was impossible to try and get the fire down he says he went to the back of the shack uh, and he says what was so traumatizing for him was the fact that he could still hear the two sets of twins screaming for help and they uh, would normally call him uncle and they just kept saying uncle uncle please help us so um, it was completely uh, devastating for the neighbor because he says he felt so helpless he didn't know what to do the 17 year old sibling who was left in the uh, he had to look after his uh, his siblings because we know uh, according to police that he had been uh, the 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 the, four to, the five children, rather, had been left alone since Friday in the care of the 17-year-old. Uh, so uh, very devastating. They were alone with the 17-year-old. We're not sure what the cause of fire was. Uh, if they're not sure if it was a paraffin stove uh, or if it was due to illegal connections of some sort. But uh, let's listen to how the neighbor recalls what happened in the early hours of the morning. I was sleeping. It was needed at night. I hear my daughter say, my father, yo, wake up, someone is screaming outside. When I go outside, I see the fire. I was sitting where I was just wearing a BVD. I just jumped the gate, go to my neighbor, and then hit the door. The fire was too much. But the kids were screaming inside. And then I go there back, I try to open the sink. The fire was all over the, the house. The neighbors come and then they try to put the water. They was just late. Thank you very much, uh, Heidi. It's just a very sad, tragic story that's unfolded there, and the investigations will will continue. Two sets of twins now dead in that fire in the check in Henrina in Bumalanga Province.